What is up, my wacky simps? Today, we're gonna be diving into the wonderful and crazy world of immersive engineering, a very complicated and aesthetically pleasing mod centered around wires and multi-block structures. And I am very excited to dive into this mod. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while, but let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do when you get into this mod is you wanna make three tools. First you wanna make is the engineer's hammer, not hard at all, just some iron string and sticks. The second one you wanna make is the engineer's wire cutters, which is what we're gonna be using to make making our wires. And the third we're gonna make is the engineer's screwdriver. This is like a configuration tool uh, that allows you to just change configuration of certain multi-block structures later on, once we get into it. So you might've noticed I already have some structures built already. I did this just so I could make the video easier on myself <laughs> and get some stuff started. But I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing you wanna make is the Coke oven, which is not hard to make. You just wanna use these Coke bricks that I am placing down, put it in a three by three fashion, completely solid no hollow points, and you want to right-click it with your engineer's hammer right in the center there. It's going to turn into a Coke oven. What this is going to do, once I get my coal, what this is going to do is you put coal in here, and it's going to start turning it into cold Coke, and as a byproduct, it's going to be making some creosote oil. Now, this is a very long process. This takes, you know, multiple minutes <laughs> just to make you know a couple of cold Coke. So you want to get this started early on, so you don't have to worry about it later, which I have some over here already already prepared. Let me get a bucket for you guys. So you just want to get some of this creosote oil like that with the bucket. And what this allows you to do is you'll put it in a crafting recipe. You're going to get some wood planks. And this is how you're going to be making your treated wood, which is a recipe, which is an item they're going to be using a lot in this mod pack. <laughs> it can be used for a bunch of different things, you know, whether it's sticks or other, other items. And that all comes from this Coke oven. So it's a good idea to make it as soon as possible. The next thing you want to make is what's called a crude blast furnace. It's called crude because there is a more improved version that you can make later on. But this one is the exact same thing as the Coke oven, a three by three, completely solid. Right click the center. What this is gonna do, once I get my stuff, what this is gonna do is gonna take your, it's gonna take your iron, you supply it with some, uh, I put cold coke in there. I don't know if you can use charcoal or not. Uh, but you supply it with iron, it's gonna turn that into steel and some slag, which is another item they're gonna be using uh, later on in the game, in this mod pack. Something else you want to get in this mod is what's called industrial hemp. You just break that and it's going to get you some industrial hemp seeds and industrial hemp fiber, which this is used in a multitude of different ingredients. I don't know if we're going to be getting into that today with what we have planned, uh, but uh, it is a, a, a big part of this mod <laughs> uh, if you are to do that. But anyways, that brings us to the main goal of this video, which is to make, if I can find it, a Tesla coil, which this will be the very last item that we need for the very last item of the All The Mod Star. So once we make this, we'll have an All The Mod Star, and I am so excited for it. <laughs> but in order to do that, we have a lot of stuff to get into. So let's dive headfirst into it. And since we've gone over the basics, let's get into the very first step of our journey to the Tesla coil, and that is power generation for this mod. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this thermoelectric generator, which is a little complicated. <laughs> we're gonna need constant templates, which we can, we have those I think already. Uh, steel and a copper coil block, which is just copper wire or LV wire coil, which is just copper wire surrounding an iron ingot. And there are a couple different ways you can get your copper wire or LV wire. The way you do it in immersive engineering is you have these copper plates, which you get by, you just use an engineer's hammer and a copper ingot, and you can get a copper plate. And you get that copper plate, you put it with your engineer's wire cutters, get a couple of those, and you surround a stick with that, and that gives you four LV wire coils. But the way we're gonna be doing it, which is the way I think this mod pack intends it from different mod recipes, is just three wire, three copper in a, in a row gives you six copper wire, which is much more efficient. <laughs> so that's the way we're gonna be doing it. But if you're doing immersive engineering, wire cutters, copper plate, right there. And that's gonna be the same with all of the wires. Uh, so MV wire coils, just electrum wire, which from electrum, electrum plates, which is a whole nother thing entirely. <laughs> and HV wire, which is just steel wire and aluminum wire put together. Well, let's get into this copper wire, copper coil. So I mentioned we're gonna be making the thermoelectric generator. So we're gonna need steel constant in plates, which we already have, and we're gonna need this copper coil block. We're gonna need a couple of these because we're gonna be making a couple thermoelectric generators. Like that, we already have some constant in plates. And these constant in plates brings us to our third structure that I have already built, this alloy kiln, which you use by making, or which you make by making kiln bricks and right clicking this topmost, oh, 
this topmost block. But what you do with this is you can come in here and it combines two different materials into one. So if we want to make constantin, we combine copper and nickel. And this takes a while. Luckily, we already have a lot of constantin. <laughs> this takes a while and it'll give you some constantin. Boom, look at that, constantin. We already have some, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's make ourselves some of these thermoelectric generators. And these are incredibly cool. I am going to put these on the ceiling. I will explain that. <laughs> I'll explain that in uh, just a second. You know what? We're going to put them up here. And we're going to put them up here in this little structure I've made. So I've cleared out a little section. And I've put some blocks down already to make it easier on myself. <laughs> uh, but let me explain to you what these thermoelectric generators do. So we're going to place these down right here, just like that. And we've got blue ice and uranium blocks. Now these might seem extremely um, random, <laughs> some extremely random choice of blocks, but what the thermoelectric generators do is it takes temperature differences and turns it into power, basically. So, and you can use multiple things. You can use ice. This is, I'm using blue ice, which is the coldest you can get. Uh, you can use lava or magma blocks or uranium blocks, which is the hottest that you can get. And basically the higher or the bigger that the difference is between uh, the two different temperatures of blocks, the higher energy production you'll have. Or I think this mod, this mod calls it flux, the higher flux production you will have. Yeah, so we got that out of the way. Uh, we'll come back, we'll come back to that in just a second. I've got some more stuff for us to go over, which is probably the main point of this mod pack. <laughs> and that is these wires and how you use them and such. And let me make a couple of them. Now you might be wondering, these produce power, but how do you, what do you do with that? Like, how do you, how do you send it from here to whatever structures you're building? Well, as a very simple answer, <laughs> uh, this mod is, I would say, mainly revolved around the use of these wires and making it look very uh, industrial, Make, making things look very industrial. And I personally, I love it. But anyways, the first thing we're gonna need to do in order to use these wires to connect our power to other things is we're gonna need to make some of these connectors and relays. Now, depending on whatever wire you're using, we're using LV wire, which is the lowest grade wire, uh, depends on whatever connector you're gonna be using. So we're using LV wire, so we're gonna be making some LV wire connectors. And it's super easy, you just gotta use copper uh, and some terracotta of any kind. So get that. We'll get eight of those for now. And you just place them down on these blocks. You see this uh, yellow ring or orange ring with an orange dot in the center. That on all of these, everything that you're going to be making, structures, these power generators and, you know, other stuff that uses power, it's going to have this orange ring with a orange dot in the center, which denotes that it is for power. We put our connectors right there, which what these do is it takes the power from inside of here, which for some reason it says it doesn't have any power, but it does. Uh, but it takes the power inside of here and sends it into these connectors. Next, we're going to need to make are some wire relays. And the difference between these connectors and relays is that the connectors, they can only uh, connect to one other thing. So if I were to connect uh, this connector to this connector, that would be the only connection it could have. Uh, but a relay allows you to connect multiple wires to, or multiple connectors to a single point. So I connect this to that, this to that, this connector to the relay, and this connector to the relay. And this relay will allow you to send uh, this power over somewhere else. So I could say, put it over here and boom, it's connected. And this little uh, <laughs> length of open wire brings me to why I am wearing this armor. This is called a Faraday chest plate, which if you are not familiar with uh, lightning, electricity, history, if you're not familiar with the uh, history of electricity, uh, Faraday armor set is basically just like chain mail uh, over your body to protect you from electrical currents. So I don't have my helmet on uh, and I will ow, get shocked by this length of wire because it has electricity running through it. But if I put my helmet on, I am safe from it. So I highly recommend making some Faraday armor sets <laughs> if you're gonna be using some open wires. You can insulate them. You can insulate the low voltage and medium voltage wires, but you can't insulate high voltage wires. But enough of my blabbering, uh, this is gonna bring us to our next point of business, which is making some multi-block structures. So this mod has uh, a ton of multi-block structures, which I personally, I love. I love multi-block structures. I love building structures together for it all to come together into one Bank. It's awesome. I love it. But this mod has a ton of them and they can be kind of complex. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to be making is this fermenter. If we hover over this little question mark right here, it tells us exactly what we're going to need. So we're going to need two light engineering blocks, which is these uh, up front, these yellow uh, looks like circuit mechanical part things. 
blocks. We're going to need one redstone engineering block, which is this red block right here. Uh, four iron sheet metals, which is these uh, strips of metal up here. Six steel scaffolding, which is all of this scaffolding down here. It looks like X's on it. Four cauldrons, which we see right there. We know what cauldrons are. And two fluid pipes which is down here. A lot of seemingly random uh, junk <laughs> mashed together, but it's all gonna come together in the end. It's gonna look super cool. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I got everything that we need. So let's get to crafting it. So if I remember correctly, we're gonna have light engineering blocks right here. I have two pipes right there, little scaffolding, some more pipes right there, or some scaffolding right there, some redstone engineering block some cauldrons, and finally our sheet metal. Now, once you're sure that you have the structure built, uh, you see it's gonna have in every structure tutorial, it's gonna have these uh, red blocks. This is the block that you're gonna wanna right click with your forge hammer to build the structure. So this middle cauldron right here was highlighted red. So let's right click it, and it's gonna turn it into a fermenter. Look at that, that looks awesome. I remember how I mentioned over here with the orange dots and whatnot, every structure is gonna have a power circuit or whatever this thing is, I don't even know. It's where you connect the power and you can tell because it has the orange dot right there. So you just wanna put a connector onto it, Oop, right on top like that, get your wire, connected to it, and it's gonna start receiving some power. Look at that. So what the industrial fermenter does is it takes uh, stuff like plants and honey and it turns it into ethanol, which is something we're gonna be making or something we're gonna need for later on for this process. So we're gonna get some bottles of honey, which luckily we have plenty, 15,000 of it. We're gonna take this honey and we're gonna put it into this industrial fermenter. So we can put it in like this, do it all at once. Uses a lot of power though. And it's gonna make us some ethanol. Now this is gonna bring us to our next thing. <laughs> And what we're gonna do with this ethanol is we're gonna pump it into a refinery and it's gonna help us further onto our journey. So let's get into that. But first, if you didn't notice, our power drained really fast while running this. And that's because of this low voltage wire. So it's low voltage, so it doesn't transfer that much power. We are producing a ton of power, but we don't have a lot of, we don't have a very high transfer rate because of these low voltage wires. And the way to combat that is to make higher voltage wires. So there are LV wires, low voltage, medium voltage, MV wires, and high voltage HV wires. And what I wanna do is I wanna make some high voltage wires. So let's just completely safe, just break these like that, break that, break all of this. You're gonna lose all that power that you created, but it's fine, you'll get it right back. <laughs> let's make ourselves some high voltage wires. So high voltage, I mentioned earlier, high voltage wires are made with steel wire and aluminum wire. And I already told you how to get wire. You can use either engineer's wires or all the mods, or I think FTB industrial contraptions uh, added a new recipe just to three in a row gives you a lot of wires, which is very efficient. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so just three aluminum in a row gives you some wire. And we're going to be using a lot of this. So let's just boop, boop, boop. And we're also going to need some steel wire. Sadly, we have to use steel plates for this. Again, just around that with a stick and get you some high voltage wire coils. And now if you remember, we had to connect the low voltage wires to low voltage wire relays and connectors. So in order to connect the high voltage wires, we're gonna need to connect them to high voltage wire relays and connectors. Not very hard, we just need some aluminum and some terracotta, very easy to make. And for the relays, we're gonna need what's called slag glass or insulating glass, which I mentioned earlier, if you remember, that we are making slag in our steel production. Just gonna take this and put it into a furnace and it's gonna make slag glass or a white rock wool. So you're supposed to be able to use slag in order to make slag glass, but it looks like you, we can't do that. So we're gonna have to do the other way. We'll take some glass and we're gonna take some iron dust and we're gonna put it into our alloy kiln. I like that, we got some constantin. We're gonna take a stack of glass and half a stack of iron dust, put it into the alloy kiln and it's gonna give us some insulating glass. Let that run, it takes two glass and one iron to make two insulating glass. And now we can make ourselves some HV wire relays. So just like before, connect it to our stuffs, that in the center, connect it all up. Let's put a relay, let's put a relay, where should we put it? Like right here, there we go. Cause we're gonna have other stuff down here so it can reach. Get that relay, pipe it to there and pipe it up to there. And we got some incredible power production. Let's just test it out real fast. Look at that, not even losing power. So now that we have our ethanol and some higher power transfer, Let's build our refinery. It looks like we're gonna need a lot of scaffolding and a lot of engineer's blocks. Ooh, and we're gonna need some heavy engineering blocks. Let's get into that. Let's see what that is. 
So it's a lot like the light engineering blocks, except it requires steel instead of iron and electrum, which we have. We're also gonna need 16 iron sheet metal, five fluid pipes, and eight more steel scaffolding, which we do not have. And we already have a redstone engineering block. This thing's gonna be five blocks wide, so I think we can put it right here and it'll look pretty nice. And with this, you're gonna take your engineer's hammer and you're gonna right click this centermost heavy engineering block. Like that, and you got yourself a refinery. Look at that, it looks so cool. And we see the orange dot, that's where the power goes. So we put our connector there and we're gonna use this relay that's right here. And now it's getting some power. All right, what we can do with this refinery and our industrial fermenter, since I built it right above it, we can take a fluid pipe, send it through this floorboard right here. This is the output, so you can see these orange and over here we're gonna have a blue dot blue is input orange is output on this tank this blue is um inputting items and this orange is outputting items and down here let me remove this pipe there's an orange dot this is outputting fluid which we have ethanol so we're going to take that fluid bring it on down here like so and right here you can't see it but is an input for fluid into this tank so this refinery is made up of two separate tanks all right so we have our ethanol piped into here and now we just got to use some silver plates we're going to put it into this slot right here which is called a catalyst put that in there it's going to start running using up our ethanol and it's going to be making acetal d acetaldehyde acetaldehyde <laughs> A chemical. <laughs> it's gonna be making this chemical. What we can do with that is we can make a another refinery. Let's do that. <laughs> Just like so. And we can pipe that acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and just connect it right into this tank. Wait, that's input. <laughs> Whoops. So you see it has an orange output right there. I'm gonna take that, bring it on around to this input. And if you have something where it doesn't you don't want it to connect, uh, you can right click with your hammer. So let's say right here, don't want to connect right there. You can right click with the hammer, it'll just connect it and say if you want to connect again. All right, we've got our acetal, acetald, acetald hide going into there. And I was going to combine that with some creosote oil, which thankfully, thanks to my genius, I have been already preparing. So I was going to get a bucket because there is no way to uh, pipe it in there. I've tried <laughs> in creative worlds, doesn't work, or at least I don't know how to. Anyways, we're just going to get a bucket, pipe it on out. A couple buckets, I guess. Nine buckets. And we're going to pump it all into here. Just right-click your tank with it. Get it all filled up. And so we have acetaldehyde in there and creosote oil. And we just got to give it some power. There you go. Put a connector down. Give it a relay. And give it some power. Oh, that's using a lot of power. I didn't think I'd use that much. But now we're getting some phenolic resin. And now we have some phenolic resin. We're going to have to put that into what's called a bottling machine. The bottling machine is a very simple machine uh, that is just used to fill containers with liquids. What we're going to be using it for is a little bit different. We're going to be using it to make these Duraplast sheets, which is what we use our phenolic resin for. We have to put that into a metal press mold plate and it's going to give us some Duraplast sheets. So let's get to making this bottling machine, which is a little complicated. We're seeing some items that we haven't seen yet. The main thing being these conveyor belts I'm seeing and this uh, item in the back, which I think is a fluid pump. So let's get into that. So this mod has conveyor belts, which can be used to transport items in the world to other areas, much like in Create, which, you know, if you see my Create video, you already know what conveyor belts do, which I mean, you should already know what conveyor belts do. It's not a very common uh, thing, I feel like, common knowledge. Conveyor belts are very easy to make. You just need leather, iron, and redstone. Make eight of them. We already have some scaffolding. We already have some iron sheet metal. We already have some light engineering blocks and some redstone engineering blocks. So the only thing that we have left to make is the, what is it? The fluid pump. So we have fluid pipes and this mod also has fluid pumps. It's very simple to make. You need three fluid pipes, iron plates, and an iron mechanical component. And for this build, we're gonna need two iron sheet metals, one redstone engineering block, two light engineering blocks, three steel scaffolding, three conveyor belts, and one fluid pump. And where should we put this? This is three blocks wide. I kind of want to put it right here just because. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right here. It's going to be fun. So it's going to be placed like so. I'm going to put our redstone block right there. Some light engineering blocks right there. Not right there. Didn't mean to do that. The pump is going to go right there. Iron tanks on the side. And finally, the conveyor belts. The conveyor belts, you need to pay attention to what way the conveyor belts are pointing. Pointing. They have to point right. So place it down right there like that. You notice it has four quadrants. You have up, uh, left, down, and right. 
Place that right there. And if you don't place them right, uh, can you take your hammer? Yeah, you can take your hammer and just rotate them. But they have to be going right. They cannot be going left. They cannot be going down. It really matters. They have to be going right. I messed up in my creative world. I could not figure out for the life of me how to do it. And finally, I just, I did it. And for this, you just got to right click this middlemost conveyor belt to complete it. Look at that, a bottling machine. And just like last time, we're going to take the output from the front, bring it on over. We don't want it going in there, so. And you can see this little bit right here, this is the phenolic acid. Acid? Resin. There's no uh, UI for this this mo this machine, so you're just gonna have to use context clues, I guess. Get all inside of there. Now I mentioned that we're gonna have to be using a, what is it? Metal press mold uh, plate, and we're gonna have to make that in what's called an engineer's workbench, which is not hard to make at all. We just need some treated wood and an engineer's crafting table. We'll get that, put it up here. Uh, let's put it right there. In order to make this mold, we're going to need this engineer's workbench, uh, engineer's blueprint, some wire cutters, and three eight, three steel plates. Let's get some steel plates real fast. One, two, three. And let's see how we make that blueprint. So we need an engineer's blueprint, and we need specifically need a metal press molds blueprint. We just need blue dye, paper, and an iron plate, which we have. Put that in there, get some steel plates and some wire cutters. Give us a metal press mold plate. And so what you do with this, you have your resin in here. You just throw it on. Gets put on there. It needs power. I forgot about the power. Oh, that was a weird sound. And get yourself some Duraplast sheets. All of this just to make one item. And the crazy part is, is that that's the hardest item to make in this Tesla coil. <laughs> Everything else I can just make by hand. Except for one item. We're going to be needing an HV accumulator, which I can make with a bucket of redstone acid, which is not hard, just a bucket of water with four redstone. But it needs this hop graphite ingot, which that is a little difficult to make because you need hop graphite dust, which you only get by putting uh, coke dust into an industrial squeezer. And the only way to get coke dust is to crush it with a crusher. Now I could just use a crushing wheel from Create, but this is an immersive engineering video and the crusher is really cool. <laughs> so let's make the crusher. And that's where this big room comes into. I was planning on putting all of these multi-block structures into this big room, uh, but then I didn't. <laughs> so let's use this room for something at least. The first thing we're gonna make is a crusher, which this is a very complex build. I wouldn't say very complex, but it is very big, requiring six? Seven, ten requires ten light engineering blocks, which is crazy. Nine hoppers, <laughs> ten steel scaffolding, which we have that thankfully. Eight steel fences and not uh, and one redstone engineering block. So I'm just gonna go ahead and craft all those. I didn't show you the steel fences though, so let me show you those real quick. Not hard, just some steel ingots and some steel rods. And we need ten light engineering blocks, which that's gonna be a little difficult to make. Let's put this crusher, I'd say, over here. So super easy to make, super simple, <laughs> I say. <laughs> Boom. And you just got to right click this centermost fence. Nope. This hopper. Nope. This light engine. Nope. What do you got to right click? Oh, I built it wrong. That's what happened. Yeah, just right click this steel fence once you're done with it. Turns it into a crusher. Put our connector on it. Connect it to our relay. Oh, a block's in the way. That's not good. And this, again, doesn't really have a UI. You just throw items into it. So we've got, where's our coal coke? Got 29 coke. Just got to take this and throw it into the crusher. Going to crush it on up. Going to pop us out some coke dust. Quite fast, too. And now we got to put this into an industrial squeezer, which is a little more difficult to make. And for this recipe, we're going to need what's called a wooden barrel, which is just a barrel but made with treated wood in immersive engineering. We need four of these. And this is just gonna be a three by three structure, nothing too fancy, nothing too fancy. And we're just gonna put it right here. And now we put the piston down. The piston has to be facing downwards. So you gotta get like right here on the very edge and put it downwards. And put your scaffolding back. All right, once you've done that, you click on this barrel and it turns into a little squeezer. And of course you give it some power. Connect that on up to your relay, and you're gonna put your coke dust inside of it. And it's gonna start squeezing it. Oh wow, we don't have any power running through this thing. But it's gonna start squeezing it into hop graphite dust. You're gonna take that, you're just gonna smelt it up, some hop graphite ingots. Now that we have our hop graphite ingot, we can take that and we can make ourselves a high voltage accumulator, which an accumulator is just like a battery. 
use to store uh, all the uh, blocks that you make from this mod. First, we need to make some bucket of redstone acid, which is easy to make. We just need redstone and bucket of water, and we got some redstone acid. Now, I just got to make this accumulator, which is going to require treated wood, some steel ingots, an aluminum plate, the redstone, uh, the bucket of redstone acid, and hop graphite ingot. Make that. Boom. Get yourselves an HV accumulator. Accumulator. And for this Tesla coil, we're also going to need to make a... Uh, an advanced electronic component, which is going to take some aluminum wire, uh, two vacuum tubes, and that Duraplast sheet that I had already made, and engineer's blueprint crafting components, which we need to make that too. A lot of stuff we need to make. So first, let's make this blueprint. Not very hard, just copper, aluminum, and iron, and some blue dyeing paper. And to make vacuum tubes, you just need glass, some nickel plate, uh, redstone, and some copper wire. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of that stuff. Okay, right, so we got all of our stuff. Got the glass, copper wire, nickel plate, and some redstone dust. And we're going to be making some three vacuum tubes. I'm just going to take those vacuum tubes, two of them, with some aluminum wire and our Duraplast sheet. And it's going to make ourselves some advanced electronic components. Okay, so we've got the advanced electronic components and we've got the HV accumulator. Now we just need an iron mechanical component, which we have. We need three aluminum plates, which we have. And we need an electron electrum coil block, which we can get. So I haven't gone over Electrum yet. Use Electrum to make the medium voltage wire, which we just kind of skipped. <laughs> uh, but in order to make Electrum, just gold and silver, you can put that into the alloy kiln. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. Some gold, some silver, and into the alloy kiln you go. We need quite a bit of it because we need to make a Electrum coil block, which requires eight Electrum wires, uh, wire coils, which uh, you make four at a time. That means you need a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to say you need a lot. Actually, I think we just need eight. Make some electrum plates. Put the electrum plates in there and start making some wires. Get that surround to stick with it. There we go. Eight medium voltage wire coils. And I think we just surround a piece of iron with it. Get yourselves an electrum coil block. Get the iron mechanical component and get the aluminum plates. Put them all in the crafting tree. And we have ourselves a Tesla coil. And guys, this does it. A Tesla coil. Now let's get Tukanet in here so we can celebrate this moment together. <laughs>